guys and welcome back to my channel my name is Keisha and I am 12 weeks post-op VSG surgery as you guys can see by the title in this video I will be talking about being addicted obsessive with food but first if you guys aren't already make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel I post videos weekly so make sure you guys have that notification bell on so you don't miss a weekly weigh-in which is on wednesday or a pop-in video here and there as well as making sure you thumbs up this video because it really helps my channel so getting into the topic food addictions let's talk about um pre-op surgery and pre-op um just in general um before i even thought about weight loss surgery and just my weight loss journey in general um I definitely think learning about eating disorders and learning about being an emotional eater, which literally came in my early 20s, that I learned about it and understood, oh my God, I'm an emotional eater because I really do eat when I'm bored, happy, sad. I feel like everything we do is always accompanied with food, whether it's a funeral, so being sad, whether it's a graduation is food. Um, birthday is food just hanging out with your friends most like you're if you're not drinking you're eating like everything is always accompanied with food and it's always large extra large super size like everything is always big here in america at least and i feel like if you are um saying that you want a small it's like you're either judged or you feel like you're not eating enough or it's always i feel like it's always something and my obsession or I wouldn't say it's an obsession with food. I just feel as if it's more of a, a boredom, an activity, something to do. Yeah, definitely something to do. Um, especially if I'm home and on a vacation, which means um, like, well, I would say like on a weekend, I can definitely eat a lot more food than during the week because I'm a lot busier. If I don't have something planned on the weekend, like if I'm not working and I just have that weekend off, I feel like I'm eating a lot more. And this is pre-op surgery and I'm just eating whatever and then for me personally once I lose focus on my consistency of working out and eating right it's just like all over the place and it's really hard for me to get back into that cycle I think they say that it takes 21 days to really gain a habit you can be eating right and working out for that one week and then do it again for another week and what can really unmotivate you is like the people around you being negative or weighing yourself and um, you're not seeing a difference or even your schedule meaning you're not able to work out or maybe you're not able to meal prep and that can really get you so I really feel as if now that I had surgery and I am an emotional eater I wasn't I wouldn't even say was because the surgery really doesn't knock down your mentality of where you came from um, you will lose weight but then again if you're like me and you're type you're the type of um, weight loss patient that can still eat a lot of food I can still eat a burger and fries I can still eat like bread carbs pasta sandwiches you know hoagies and all that stuff chips I can still eat things like that I can still eat my favorite things so it's really like all mental right now and I say this probably in majority of my um, way in Wednesdays from like nine weeks and on that it has been so mental for me to know that I can only have the serving size, I can only have three cookies, or if I do want something and indulge in it, make sure it's like less calories, or making sure that I'm getting my butt in the gym. I have been so consistent with the gym, and I haven't really been thinking about cheat days and rest days and stuff like that, because all in all, I just want to be in the gym. And now I will say, just because I want to be in the gym, that doesn't mean I have to go hard every day on the gym. There are some gym sessions where I just want to be on the treadmill and I just want to, you know, chill, put some YouTube on, put my music on and just rock out. But then there's other times I want to make sure I'm getting squats in. I want to make sure I'm doing my lunges, curls and all of that stuff and be on like different machines. So as long as I'm in the gym and being active for me personally, I've been seeing a lot of progress. I've been having some days where I've just been like just eating a lot and I don't know why. And um, for me, for the weight loss part of it, I haven't really been having any um, dumping syndrome, but I have been having the same feeling that I had before surgery when you're just sluggish and you don't feel good and you have an attitude. I know when I was a lot bigger in like the 280s, I didn't want to do anything. I didn't want to get out of bed. I always had, that's my son screaming in the background. 
Um, I always had an attitude, never wanted to do anything, um, just made an excuse for everything. And like you move so slow or I was just moving so slow, um, just went to work, got my son, laid down, like that's it. And I feel like I had that feeling for maybe one or two days and I was just like, no, this isn't it. Get back on it. Um, and just, you know, just weighing yourself, whether you are up or down, I think that really helped me as well to know that, you know, my weight isn't being affected as much as it would be if I didn't have surgery because I feel like I was eating bad the last like week or so and I have really still been getting in the gym. Um, I would say the most time, I remember other times when it's just a weekend and I gained like five to six pounds in that weekend and I remember it just being so unmotivating. So I can say the last three months has definitely been an eye opener to that. Yes, I'm losing weight. Yes, I'm seeing a lot of progress, but my mental is not going anywhere. I still want to, I wouldn't, I, I haven't had the urge to binge eat, but I have had the urge to get takeout. Um, it's not as much as it used to be. I, I would definitely say it's probably like maybe, so I started a new job and it's almost three months that I've been at this job and I ate out at the location two times. So I don't know. It's definitely um, a different mindset. I definitely can say that. And I think that's because I'm actually seeing, seeing a lot of progress. There has been times when I'm on my weight loss journey where I lose three pounds in three weeks. And now that I'm losing sometimes, you know, three pounds or six pounds in two weeks, it's just like, wow, let's keep going. You're seeing great progress. And then when I do have them slip up days, I notice now that it doesn't pl plunge into, oh, let me just continue on this bad spiral and eat bad and all that stuff. I have um, been eating pretty bad or I wouldn't say bad, but I've been eating a lot of carbs and um, carbs tend to stick on me a lot. And I've been noticing I don't know if it's because I'm, I'm lifting and all that stuff, but it, it hasn't been as it usually is. And that's just an amazing feeling and it makes me want to push more. I've been finding motivation a lot in my own journey, which is very, very helpful for me. Um, just the obsession with food or the tend to eat all the time. It comes and it goes. Um, I think, like I said, the surgery has been helping me a lot, but it is all mental. I feel like you really need to have that mindset and... You need to know that tomorrow is a new day even though today was whatever happened you have to really get that urge off that tomorrow is a new day and whatever your cycle is whatever your routine is definitely stick to it um i can say like monday i ate a little crazy with the carbs no actually tuesday i actually ordered food i had um a hoagie and instead of getting like the really big hoagie i actually got a mini hoagie and it was six inches was it six inches I think it was six yeah it was six because they cut it and that's like a huge deal for me because I'm usually always the type to get the really really big sandwich um so I ate that and I was actually able to eat the whole thing and then I also bought wings as well and I was able to eat two wings um ate that meal and then I just felt I was really stuffed like eating that other half I definitely overdid it I could have ate three inches and then maybe two or three wings and that's it but I definitely stuffed myself in that meal and I'm definitely trying not to where I'm sick but I was like too full I was stuffed I wasn't full I was like stuffed so just realizing like you're when you're full when you're satisfied that's really what I'm still trying to learn um I you know was able to eat the wings in the next two or three days which I'm really happy about because like I said a typical meal for me is getting like a huge sandwich like a 12 inch and eating all those wings and if not all of them maybe having like two or three left over two or three for my son and the rest like eight for me seven or eight for me so it is definitely a big adjustment I'm really happy with my progress I will never say that um never say right now that I will never eat candy again never eat chips and cookies and all that stuff because I personally want to be as realistic as possible. I think what's been helping me right now is being able to not restrict myself and not say, oh, I'm just going to do like a liquid diet. Oh, I'm just doing fasting. I really do like to do all of those things. But right now, I'm just really focusing on my health. And, um, you know, I do tend to do like the smooth move teas, but that's really for bowel movements. If you guys had VSG surgery or have trouble having bowel movements in general, teas really help you a lot. It's really not to lose 10 to 20 pounds. I mean, 
you probably will shed like one or two pounds with um some smooth smooth tea but that's really just to um go to the bathroom so what else did i want to talk about um yeah, my my binging and emotional eating, I would say, has gotten a lot better. In those days that I do want to snack, I snack. I mean, I don't want to restrict myself. I don't feel like it's a bad thing to snack. It's just to know your limits. Instead of eating, like, a whole tray of cookies or a whole row of cookies, eat two or even three if you need to. But it's just those baby adjustments. Instead of eating two to three slices of pizza eat half a one or one or whatever the case is that's what i'm dealing with right now that's my motive like i said i still eat pizza i still eat wings i still participate on going out to eat it's just picking a healthier option or picking the option that you used to pick but just split it in half and those little habits and then seeing the progress that you're making really will make you motivate you to pick healthier options and that's really what i've been experiencing with because I've really been staying consistent and making these videos and getting you guys support has really been helping me as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to thumbs up this video to show some love and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.